everyone, welcome to week two scavenger hunt at home. Our item for this week is cardboard. And for our first project, we're going to be making cardboard paper spinners. Let's get started. So the materials you're going to be needing are some string, a pair of scissors, markers, cardboard, of course, some paper and glue. You can use glue stick or liquid glue. All right, everyone. So we're first going to be working with our cardboard. And for this part, you're going to need a pencil, a marker, or a pen. So this piece of cardboard that I'm going to be using is actually a piece from an Amazon box. And what we're going to be doing is drawing a circle on it. Okay, so when you're done drawing your circle, you're going to cut it out. If you need help with cutting out the circle, go ahead and ask an adult for help. I know it can be a little bit tricky. Okay, so I'm all done cutting out my circle and I'm actually going to be using this circle as my template to cut my other one out. We're going to be doing this so they can both be about the same size. Okay, now that I'm all done cutting out both of my circles, I'm going to go ahead and get my sheet of paper. So what we're going to be doing with this sheet of paper is actually tracing one of our circles onto it. After you're all done doing that, you can go ahead and draw a pattern on your paper. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and draw some lines just to give it a pop. So we're actually going to do two circles on our sheet of paper. After you're all done with your first circle, go ahead and get another sheet of paper and trace your circle once again onto the paper and draw another pattern. These pieces of paper, we're going to cut them out and put them on top of our cardboard. Alright, so now that I'm all done drawing my patterns and all of my lines on my circles that were in my paper, I went ahead and I cut them out. And what we're going to do is glue our paper circles onto our cardboard circles. I'm going to be using a glue stick, but you can use liquid glue as well. Alright, so now that I'm all done gluing my paper onto my cardboard circle, I'm going to poke two holes onto our circle. So it's actually kind of hard to poke a hole through with a colored pencil. And remember, if you are having a bit of trouble, go ahead and ask an adult for help. I was actually struggling a bit with this. The colored pencil wasn't really going through and I kept poking and pushing. But it still wasn't working and I think it has to do with the type of cardboard that you're using. So instead I went ahead and I used some scissors because my cardboard is thicker. So scissors were going to go through it quicker and way more smoothly. Remember, if you need help, ask an adult for assistance. And you're going to poke holes, two holes to both of your circles. So go ahead and now get your string, this is where we're going to be using our string, and measure out how long you want your string. It really depends on how you would like it. And go ahead and put the string through both.
Okay guys, so this is it. That's it. We're all done. And you might be thinking, so what do I do with this? Do I hang it from my ceiling or do I kick it around? Well guys, this is actually a really, really fun project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot with my string to make sure that my string doesn't just come out and slip from the holes. And I'm going to be showing you guys what you can do with this. And a very great thing about this project is that you can experiment with it. You can go outside and see if I spin it this way, will the wind make it go faster or will it make it go slower? Will it knock it down or will it make it speed up? The weather is changing. You can try it out in different places and at different times. See what times make it go faster, what times is it harder to spin. You can go ahead, go outside and experiment. Now remember, we made two holes but I'm only putting string through one. But to all my adventurers out there, you can put string through both of them and see if it makes it go faster or does it make it harder to spin. Go ahead and try out. Remember, this is all about experimenting, having fun, and if you only want to have one circle and just have one string, go ahead. I hope you guys have fun and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, go outside and see how it works. Have fun! Come down, come down.